Nine years ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Motherbase. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sahelanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. We lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family, hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? The prosecution calls a witness. <laughs> Love's gravestone, haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. Machine. You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago, you agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! We exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Who'd want her to? Us. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He didn't lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Us. You are right, he is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it.
Am I the only sane one here? I... My... It's not my fault. Look. You can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black-hearted Diamond Docks. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see through the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. You can't run from yourself forever. Mission list updated. to get out sooner. <laughs> Perhaps I'd have made it. Why didn't I stop the hatch from closing? Even if it meant losing an arm. Distant. But you can hear me, can't you, Joy? I know you can. You're recording all of this. Deep down, in some memory board he'll never find. Duplicating it. Burying it under heat. Meaningless code. <laughs> anyway, I guess I can say what needs to be said. I can still do that much. Talk to you. Even if I can't face you. Even if there's a heaven. Even if you're waiting there. I don't deserve to see you again. I don't deserve to love you. I signed up for Zero's plan. 
Even now that he's halfway to dead, his plan lives on, leeching away at the palm. And it took your strength to make it happen. In using you, I put the world in his palm. Once and for all. Zero. Zero. Or whoever it is who's taken his name. They found me. After the Caribbean. They made me simulate his will so that even after the body was gone, that will would keep the world turning the way they wanted. I had no choice. They dredged Largo Corsi Bulka, pulled up your phantom, forced me to revive and modify you. I thought I could bring you back, but in the end, I sold your will to him. Now this part is just one big shell. A husk. <laughs> Your phantom's no longer here. As for me, everything I touch turns to ashes. I could never make anyone happy. And now I'll never see my son again. But at least Hal's free from his father's hands. Me with child. Can you imagine? I wonder how you took the news. Were you jealous? I knew what I was doing. If I could pass your will onto a child I carried, my genes, your beam, a father would be irrelevant. If I did that, that child would be ours. I've been a fool. Pride, conceit, baseless theories. Of course, I couldn't see through the dream. The false you. I created. I only wanted to pass your will on to the next generation. But Zero took it away. And now I haven't just lost you. I've lost my... Oh, Hal. Can you forgive the mother who couldn't protect you? The one who let them take it all away from us. Oh. Oh. There's still hope. You, the one he took away. 
He'll never break your will. The will to make this world the way you saw it could be. I buried code, just to be sure. Inside of you, there is an egg. And when someone finds it, when they crack it, there'll be nothing left to stop you. The world you envisioned will become a reality. Joy. Never be afraid. Whatever happens out there, she'll be watching over you. The system, the framework for the world, will protect you. You don't need me. You just need to be strong enough for the both of us. <laughs> Please specify a project. Please select a mission. Don't you die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Intubate. Now! Cardiac arrest is in BFIB! Clear! No response. Hit him again! How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized, but it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? He uh, took some shrapnel to the head. Spoke up was and when. Oh. 
Kde jsem? V has come to. V has come to. Who is me? Kuzme. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Look up, please. <laughs> Very good. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Damn it! Nosokoma! Nosokoma! Nurse! Calm down! Calm down! Try not to panic! 
How do you feel? I have stated that the reason for the crash was an as yet inexplicable fire in mid flight. The search has ended with a confirmed death toll of 94 and another 30. It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages. CPM therapy and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within it. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. ότι έχει ξυπνήσει. Ότι αν τρέχει μεγάλο κύμα, πρέπει να ενεργήσουμε άμεσα. Προετοιμάστε τον Ιάννη Κύριση. Θα το πιστεύω. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead. But you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world up there, so there's something we need to take care of first. This is you, as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. 
To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Everything feels all right. Okay, I have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, you're in the land of the living. Bad news? The world wants you to On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick-me-up? Okay. Here. No! 
Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> 